today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. For the lip colors, I wanted to kind of match it with the eye color as well. But if you found that it was a little bit too much, you can always swap it for something else that's a little bit more neutral. And um, hopefully you guys will like this tutorial. So let's get started. So first off, I already applied on my moisturizer. Now I'm going to be applying on my primer. The primer I'm going to be using today is the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Primer Potion. It's going to apply that all over my face. And this is going to help with your makeup to last all night as well so that it doesn't budge. For foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. And this is just one of my favorite drugstores that provide a natural semi matte finish. So after you applied your foundation, then you can also start with your concealer. And the concealer I'm using is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. Now I'm just going to set that with my NYC Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to be applying that with one of my fluffy brushes from Sigma. For my eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 hour um, eyeshadow base and this is in the shade Pomegranate Punk. It's always best to apply on your primer with your fingers just because it warms up the product as well so you're not really tugging on your eye as much. And then I'm going to take a little bit more and apply that right to my lower lash line. Now after applying on the base, we're going to go in with our crease color and this is going to help blend out the color that we're going to be applying right below that. So I'm going to be going into one of my Makeup Geek starter kit palettes and I'm going to be taking this color right over here which is called Creme Brulee and applying that just with um, like a fluffy white dome brush and we're just going to pop that right in the crease and just blend a little bit above it. So after applying on the crease color, we're going to start working from the outer corner and then going inwards. So I'm going to be deepening up that color now with this shade right over here, which is a deep purple with some sparkle to it. And this one is called Drama Queen and it's from the Makeup Geek eyeshadow collection. And first you want to make sure that you tap on the eyeshadow so that you don't have a lot of fallout because um, like these shadows are very good for pigmentation but if you have too much like with any other product as well like any other eyeshadow you're gonna end up with a lot of fallout so just tap 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 first and then once you got some product on then you can start blending it out Then just balance out the colors between both your eyes to make sure that they're equal or at least close to being equal. So taking another blending brush, it's just going to be a clean fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to soften out the edges. So I'm just taking the purple again and just tapping right onto the outer corners. So next, taking the same fluffy brush that we've been applying both colors, we're going to add another color on top of that. And I'm just going to take just a matte black color and applying that right onto the outer corner. And this is just the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Cropped, but of course you can use any black. So taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Creme Brulee again and I'm just going to be applying that right onto the outer corners or I guess the outer edges of the eyeshadow just to blend it out once more. 
but adding a little bit more warmth to it. But you gotta be careful because you don't wanna bring your black eyeshadow up with this blending color as well. But I also have a trick for that if you brought up the black eyeshadow too high up. Also, I'm gonna be using my beauty blender just to clean up the edges. Like so. And taking my brush that had some black on it, I'm just gonna, oops. <laughs> I'm just going to soften up the black a bit. But don't bring it in that close like what I just did because that's not what you're supposed to do. So I'm just going to soften that out. Getting just some of my pressed powder. And this is the Leo Wally Be My Skin Powder Pack in the shade number 23. And I'm just going to take that just on a flat, uh, was it, a flat large shader brush and applying this right onto the brow bone. If you ever blend too high up and you bring too much darkness right up to your brow bone, take some of your powder and just apply it right on top of it because it kind of pushes the color a little bit down. And as well, it softens it up. So going into my Urban K 15 year anniversary palette, I'm gonna be taking the eyeshadow called Junk Show, which is just this fuchsia pink color and it's so beautiful because it has like it's pink, but also some purple reflex to it. Taking some of my MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to be applying that right into a flat shade of brush. So with the shade Junk Show, I'm just going to be taking that right onto my brush like so. And I'm just going to pat this right on that inner half of the lid. And then if you want to blend the two colors even more together, you can also take just any kind of purple. And I'm taking this one called Omen right over here. I'm going to apply this to where the pink and the black were meeting before. And just wiggle those two together. just taking my black fluffy brush again I'm just gonna slightly push the black right in towards the purple just to make sure that everything is blended for the lower lash line if you don't want it to be too dramatic you can just stick with just black itself but I'm gonna amp it up a little bit by adding the purple again which is this shade right over here and that will kind of give it a little bit more pop and to open the eyes a little bit more so it doesn't look too dark I'm just gonna be taking a lighter matte it's like a satin finish shade um, this is called vanilla from bedhead and it's quite a light shade but it's very good for highlighting the inner corners. I'm just gonna apply this like so and just apply this right in the inner corner so that it can brighten up the look. And then if you want you can also apply just a little bit to the tip of the brow bone so it can lift up the look a little bit more. And to add a little bit more pop to the look, as if this isn't dramatic enough, I'm going to be taking my MAC pigment color in the shade Vanilla, and I'm just going to be applying this just with my fingertip, and apply a very little bit amount just to the inner, inner half of the lid. So I just have very little on my fingertip, and I'm just going to pat this right onto the center of the lid just to give it a little bit of a pop. Next I'm going to be applying on my mascara and the one I'm using is the Laura Mercier um, 
full-blown volume mascara. As I dry, we can now move on to our brows, and I'm just going to be using my Leo Lally Auto Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Grey Black. And just comb out your brows. I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Great Lash in the color clear so I can set my brows. Now I'm going to be setting my foundation with my Leo Lally Be My Skin Powder Pack in the shade number 23. Now we can get on to contouring and I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzing Powder and I'm just going to be taking that right onto one of these little dome brushes. Since her eyes already have so much pink, I'm going to go very light on the blush as well. Go towards something that's a little bit more peachy. And I'm using the shade right over here called Angel and this is from NYX. So the next part is optional because you don't have to use pink lipstick because your eyes are already having enough pink. You can definitely use something a little bit more neutral just like, um, like a nude lipstick or even just lip gloss on top. So the lipstick I'm going to be using is my Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in the shade Native and it's just like a soft baby pink color. For this part it is optional as well but you can either have the look just the way it is or if you like, you can also apply some false lashes, which is what I'm going to be doing. So this is the final look with lashes. But for this look, since it is kind of dramatic with the pink eyes, I recommend that you just wear a black dress so that your eyes will stand out. I recommend that you just curl your hair for this look because having straight hair, it's not bad, but I like to amp it up a little bit with um, with like having curly hair. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!